We're joined by Louisiana Tech head coach Teresa Weatherspoon and student athletes Whitney Frazier and Lulu Perry. Coach, can you just start with an opening statement? It's a tough one for these young ladies, but first of all, you know, I like to um, thank our university, you know, Louisiana Tech. I mean, that that's what we're really all about is Louisiana Tech, just for this grand opportunity, for the support that was given to us, you know, and it, it's always great when you can look out there and you can see your president just being present and being so supportive of, of what you do. Um, that's the most important thing to me is being, uh, being here, and even though our season was a rocky one, but when you have the support of your president, is absolutely wonderful. But our kids, you know, as you can see, had a really rough start in the first beginning of the game. Uh, so it kind of we kind of dug ourselves a big hole uh, in the very beginning of the game. Uh, can't say if it was nerves or what it might have been, uh, but we didn't put the ball in the basket and we didn't defend very well. Uh, but the second half, we kind of got ourselves together, um, played a little bit better, put a little bit more pressure on, scored a little bit more, and uh, we feel like if we would have done that in the first half, putting two halves together, we would have had a better opportunity. Questions? Coach, uh, the two quick fouls on Whitney, do you think that contributed to um, some of what Seattle U was able to do with their defensive pressure when she was out of the game? You know, if you don't have Whitney Frazier in, we're in major trouble. She's, uh, she's, our, she's our everything, offensively and defensively. As you, as you can tell, it turned things around when she came in in the second half. Her energy is just so very important to us um, when she's out there on the floor and the leadership that she brings through constant communication offensively and defensively. And when she went out, it really played, um, it was really big for us not to have her out on the floor. And at that very moment, um, Seattle started to take advantage of that. And then the, the, uh, the coming back in the second half, being able to force turnovers, um, uh, what were you guys uh, doing with that press that was so effective? And then just uh, how proud of you are of the fight that your team had after they got down? You know, I'm, I, I, it's great you asked that because uh, I'm always proud of these kids. I'm very proud of everything that they do and everything that they've tried to accomplish um, because sometimes it's not easy being in my presence. <laughs> it's not easy uh, because I'm demanding. I don't expect it. I demand it of them to be great. Um, but they work hard. They work very hard uh, and to do the pressure in which they put on in the second half is the way we have to play all the time. It can be a sometime thing, uh, but I am I'm very proud of these young ladies in the fight uh, that they put up in the second half because any time you put on a lady text your uniform, you better have some form of pride about yourself. This is a, a university and a program that prides itself on pride, and our kids showed that down the stretch that they'll never give up. We don't understand the meaning of that. We will fight for 40 minutes. That's how many minutes in a game. If you go into overtime, we'll fight those minutes as well. So I am a very proud coach of what they tried to do. Any other questions? They, they can talk. They really can. Hey, Whitney, um, coming back, I mean, in the first half, I mean, only being able to play four minutes, just how disappointing was that? And then what was your mentality coming back in the second half? When I got those two fouls, it was real disappointing because I knew my team needed me and I knew I needed to be on the floor. But for the second half, it was just all about fighting and giving all you got. You know, I know it's not a lot of questions being thrown at us. There's so many flying from so many different areas. I don't know which question to ask first, answer. But Lulu Perry down there is a freshman. Uh, you guys haven't even seen exactly what she's able to do. Uh, this kid has fought through a tremendous amount of injuries all year long. And when you talk about a proud coach, it's more than just about the X's and the O's and with them going up and down the floor uh, trying to press and score and defend. It's about what they try to do through the injuries itself. People don't know what they go through behind closed doors. You only see what kids go through on the floor. But this young lady's been playing with 
a knee injury all year long, a thumb injury all, all year long. And then as we played uh, the other day, she, she had her elbow all messed up and we had to take her to the ER then. But people don't know about those things. They don't understand those things. And when you talk about fight, that's a fight to me. That's pride to me. That's wanting to be a part of a team that's so great. And you haven't seen the lights of what these kids are going to be able to accomplish. Uh, they're finally gelling together, uh, coming together very well at, at the last moment. But we'll take that and we'll carry that into the next year. But this is a, these two young ladies right here, I go to war with them any day. So if you can follow up on that, Lulu, just, uh, I mean, what, what started working for you? What opened up for you there as you were able to... to but you had 23 points. Um, coach was just saying to get in the gaps, you know, um, to attack them, and that's what we try to do, attack. You might ask questions, but you might not get to a long of an answer. <laughs> but I, I have great kids, and I want everybody to know that these are great young ladies. And they will do great things. We are not about good. This university is not about good. We are about great. We're about greatness leading to excellence. And that's what they're about. They, they, you get a feel. Experience is huge. This was a great experience for them. The tears, of course, you don't want to see. But those tears, they will always remember. They remember the pain. They remember the hurt. And they'll bring it back next year to make something different. That's what Lady Textures do. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.